The Equality and Human Rights Commission attributes enormous importance to employers having workplace policies to support women and men who might have been subject to domestic violence or other kinds of sexual violence. Mm -hmm. There's an enormous opportunity for employers to support people, to stay in work, to safeguard them and to look after their well-being. One of the things that we found is that when somebody's uh, in a violent situation, they'll take time off work, they'll call in sick, it'll be difficult to go back to work. Quite quickly they might fall out of the workplace altogether. So from an employer's point of view, this helps people, women in particular, to keep on working um, when they're in a difficult situation at home. There are all kinds of measures that employers can take. Um, the very main starting point really is to show that you've got an understanding of your role as an employer. Um, at a recent launch, one woman came forward and said she'd been in despair and didn't know what to do and she was able to get help straight away. Another council that we've talked to in South Wales has indicated that 11 women um, came forward last year and have had support to keep on working and perhaps to address the situation they're in. There's all kinds of things that employers can do. They can uh, provide time for women perhaps to see a solicitor, they can provide uh, a safe parking space, they can help a woman change her mobile phone number. Once you've got your workplace policy in place, and that in itself is very important because it sends out a clear message to the workforce, all of the workforce actually, not those that might just want to use it, that you're an employer that is interested, you're sympathetic, you understand the importance of tackling this problem. So you get your workplace policy in place, then of course um, it has to be publicised, then people need to be trained. Um, we think it's also very important that there's some kind of monitoring um, so you know whether your workplace policy is having the desired effect. Um, sometimes there's a feeling that this is quite embarrassing, quite confidential, no records should be kept and uh, of course you don't need to keep detailed information about specific employees but knowing whether your workplace policy has been used, knowing which bits of it have been most useful uh, is really important in order to develop for the future. One of the things that you need to think about is what's, what's going to happen when somebody steps forward and says they, they need some help. And so it, it is important to make sure that people are briefed up, they, they know what services are available, they know what kind of things can be um, provided to offer support. I would say that probably one of the most important things is breaking the taboo being willing to speak about this topic, making people feel as though there is some understanding, they're not being judged, they're not being criticised and that practical help is available. So it's all about training, awareness and actually I think it's really important that leaders speak out. It's very helpful to let managers know what kind of signs that they should be looking out for um, and these might include the obvious, they might include um, distress, they might include physical injuries. But I think there are other things to think about as well. If people seem to be coming into work when they're really quite poorly, you're wondering why they're not at home, that might ring some alarm bells. Uh, people staying late, coming in early, obviously not wanting to be at home. But there are all kinds of signs. The Equality and Human Rights Commission has produced a lot of guidance to help public service employers launch workplace policies. I think the best starting point is with this little film. It's just a three minute film and it can be shown in all kinds of circumstances. My one key message to Welsh public service leaders is don't underestimate the scale of this problem. You've got a role to play. Get a policy, implement the policy, and that really is the beginning rather than the end. There's lots more you can do. Train, raise awareness, talk, and I'm confident, and this is what has been shown already in the organisations that have got workplace policies, is that people can be helped and you may even find that lives are saved in your organisation.